Night. It is a solemn night, but it is also a joyous night because we can look out and say, we're here to help you now. Thank you, Buffalo, for showing up tonight and showing that we will not let this happen again. It is time to stop it, and it is time to make it known that bullying is not accepted. It doesn't matter if you're gay, straight, bi, blonde hair, red hair, we don't care. Everyone is equal. We have a short little program put together for you, a few guest speakers. I'm going to start it off with the gentleman that started this whole thing at the beginning of the week. He has worked tirelessly and endlessly to put this all together. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Lavender Door Project, put your hands together for Miguel Gorman. I want to thank you. Looking up here, this is really overwhelming right now. You have no idea. Um, this started off as a small idea, something just to honor Jamie, because my heart goes out to him, because I was a victim of bullying. I faced bullying since kindergarten, and it went all the way through high school. And there's some times where you get desperate and you start to lead to the dark side. And I don't want any more youth to have to go to that side. I want to understand that obviously we have a community here and Buffalo, Buffalo has a big, big heart. And I want to thank you guys right now. I want to thank, we have people here from all over Western New York. We even have people here from, you know, Youngstown, Ohio, and that goes a lot. Buffalo, you did it. Like, we spoke out and we reached out to the community. Jamie's story is heard nationally because we, didn't want this to go sweep under the carpet again. So I want to give yourself a round of applause for that. I um, wrote something down, you know, a speech because often sometimes I can go off to uh, the subject, so I want to keep myself together. Um, but um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who know my free consideration, I am Miguel Gorman, the creator of the Purple Door Project, which is my um, project to help promote the anti-bullying movement. That movement needs to be heard. Um, so I'm just going to go on with the speech. Um, All right. Um, my inspiration for the Purple Dog Project came from my personal battle with the abuse of being bullied during my school years. It was a difficult thing for me to endure almost every day of my life. There were times I wanted to give up. I was emotionally drained to the point where I could barely cry because I became so numb. I started to speak out later in my late teen years because bullying got worse. It got worse from, being, from, from coming from being verbally attacked to now physically attacked. I cried out to the teachers and most gave it a passing nod. So I went back to feeling numb to life till I encounter an organization that I hold close to my heart. It's called GLIS, the Gay and Lesbian Youth Services. When I first enter the doors of GLIS, you get an overwhelming feeling like this is where you're supposed to be at. I felt welcome, I felt safe. I, it was great to meet other kids who, like myself, were going through the same thing. Gliss gave me the empowerment to take ownership of my life again. I became stronger as time passed, and now I'm fearless in sharing my story with you guys tonight. All those bullied, you aren't alone. I want you to take a look around and see the ocean of people around you that care. We are here and united together. There's hope behind these purple doors. Buffalo, you're truly living up to your name, the city of good neighbors. The tremendous response, the support, others and myself, and more important, of the family of Jamie Rodemeyer that are receiving today, and this past week, is just beautiful. For a young man I didn't get to know, had the honor of getting to know, I instantly grew to love him. Jamie, you're an inspiration to us all. Seeing the community joining forces of all ages, color, sexual orientation, it doesn't matter, we're all here. We're partaking under the same parking lot. <laughs> 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 
It's just magical and truly touching. Buffalo, we stand strong and united. We will get, we will break barriers. We will give hope. We will show that indeed it does get better. We will re always remain a community that is known for its endless love and support for one another. Buffalo, be proud not only tonight or tomorrow or even a month from now. Be proud every day. This city has a lot of heart and I want to recognize that and thank you all. I also want to recognize the following individuals. Individuals, my friends who came together and said I want to help. Together we join forces with Club Marcella and the staff. Jimmy Hill, Neil, a.k.a. Misunderstood, the City of Buffalo, and the Buffalo the Police Department. I know, I know what I, I know I couldn't have done it without you all. I have the best support team I could ever ask for. I love you and thank you guys. Everyone, let's give all of those who helped me put this event together a big round of applause because they truly, truly... I could not have done this alone. I could not have done this alone. Um, so I want to thank you guys one more time. And I also want to thank if anyone that I've forgotten, I apologize, but thank you for being here. Thanks for helping as well. In the words of Lady Gaga, you monsters rock. <laughs> Pause up. <laughs> In clothing, I'm going to leave you with this. Me plus you plus him plus her. Equal the community with a mission to make a difference. Thank you all once again with love, peace, and happiness. Put your paws up and rest in peace. Jamie Brodermeyer.